Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at Glazers Hall, London Bridge. A huge two bumper signings for Queensbury today. Adam Hammond and Chantel Cameron. Delighted to be joined by Hall of Fame promoter, Mr Frank Warren. How are you, Frank? I'm good, young man. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Um, this is two major, major signings for two different reasons, really. Yeah. You've got the young kind of son of Naz in Adam. How did this all come about? Um, well, we've been talking for a long while now, Naz and myself, and then he... Uh, and eventually we, we we got to the stage where you know we felt that we would we would do this and he's got a good manager in Sam I think Sam's going to be a good manager for him and he's a young man he's got no amateur experience he's worked hard in the gym he's been working hard in the gym and he's he's starting his journey now and he's got big boots to fill and people will feel that because of his dad who's one of Britain's boxing legends one of Britain's box greats British boxing is greats um, but he's got to learn his craft and learn his trade and he can't be rushed and we've got to make sure we make all the right moves at the right time and try not to put him under the microscope too much and Chantel Cameron obviously she's aiming for that trilogy fight with Katie Taylor you did say all happy families now with uh, you and Eddie on that top table is that the aim to make that Katie Taylor trilogy I'd like to do it it's the other end of the scale you know she's somebody who's done everything been there and done it and uh, she's now with Queensbury and we've got to make sure that we we guide, we, we give her the pathway to get back the titles and, and give her meaningful fights. And we're announcing one next week. And I'm hoping down the road we can maybe make that third fight. You admitted up on the top table that you were sceptical about female boxing. But over the past five or six years, this changed a lot and the landscape is ever changing. So you do admit you were wrong on that level, yeah? Well, I think at the time I may have been right. It's just, okay. that, the, it's just that the quality's improved so much. There was good good women fighters but they weren't a lot of good women fighters in the various weight division that's changed dramatically now and obviously more and more women are now taking up the sport uh, as amateur and some turning over as pro and the quality is vastly improved and Chantel's one of the uh, torchbearers of that there's no doubt about that so you know it's 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 for me it's a it's a no-brainer now Frank, less than two weeks now until the undisputed fight will we'll be flying out to Saudi Arabia next week. Um, have you spoke to Tyson at all in the last couple of weeks? I spoke to him uh, over the weekend, the weekend gone. He sounded in, he, he's in brilliant form. When I see him up in Morgan a couple of weeks ago, I mean, he looks, he looks tremendous. Best shape I've ever seen him in, to be quite honest. He looks like he's glowing. Um, which is what all we was all worried about. He was peaking so soon, coming off, you know, coming off of two training camp, back-to-back training camps. But um, I, I genuinely feel you're going to see a vintage Tyson Fury performance. I really do. I think he's going to make a statement. I know you've addressed this in a separate interview, Frank. But uh, what did you make of Barry McGuigan's comments that he's not an elite heavyweight? I don't even know. He can even make that that statement. He's beaten two. Heavyweights who are the best, the, 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 the respective best out there. He'd done a job on Klitschko, who's the best heavyweight of his generation. He had a lot of problems after that, which is well documented. And then he came back losing, losing a lot of weight and still carrying a lot of weight and went out and fought a guy who was undefeated for six years. Biggest punching heavyweight out there. He can only beat the best around. He is an elite heavyweight. And that's a fact of life. I don't know why he said it. Who knows why he said it? Barry's got his views. Um, I, don't, I totally disagree with it. One thing's for sure: the winner of the fight on the 18th, which I believe will Tyson, will be Tyson, will be the best heavyweight of this century because he'd be the first one to hold all the belts. Do you think at the minute Tyson still isn't getting the credit he deserves for the reasons you just said there? No, not at all. I think he gets the credit he deserves. I mean, Jesus Christ, those fights he had yeah. out in the States, they were great fights. Fantastic. I mean, you look at that first fight he had with, uh, with, um, with, with Deontay, he won that fight. And that was a great fight to watch. The second one was an absolute brilliant performance. And the third one is the best heavyweight fight I've ever attended live and seen. Dramatic. Two guys in there giving everything they had. It's like a throwback fight. Um, just two more quick ones, Frank. Is there any update on Anthony Yard and that situation? 
I'm hoping we get this resolved fairly quickly. We haven't got a lot of time to do it if we want to get him out, so he's, he's, we've got to get it resolved. But one way or another, it will get resolved. And just a quick word on Ryan Garcia fouling uh, the Vada test. So were you shocked when you saw that news? Yeah, it's all very disappointing, isn't it? I mean, I'm shocked in as much that, you know, he, he was overweight and he failed the thing. Normally, like, I understand what he's been found positive with is they use that as a diuretic as well, apparently, to lose weight. So I'm, I'm told, and for other reasons as well. Yeah, very, very sad, very, very disappointing. Um, not good, for, not good for him. Certainly not good for the game. But you know what? It shows you that testing works. That's what people forget. The testing works. What needs to be sorted out now is the punishments must work. Yes. If he is proved, Who give it to him. If he's proved guilty, should the fight be a no contest? He gets, I think anybody, who, if, if, if that happens, I think it should be no contest. Excellent. Frank Warren, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV. Thank Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.